Hi guys, my name is Valerie and today we're gonna show you five ugliest buildings in Prague. And to match with the theme, I decided to look like crap myself today. I need sleep. Badly. You might be wondering, who exactly picked these five buildings? We based this video on a survey that was conducted a couple years ago, where around 2,000 progress participated, so it's not our personal opinion. In fact, if it would be up to me or up to Vatsov, we would rate those buildings differently. But we will keep our potentially controversial opinions till the end of this video, and we will introduce you our number five, because we'll go from number five to number one. But before that, you might have noticed a beautiful Baroque church right behind me. This church is not on the list, obviously. In fact, most of the buildings that you're gonna hear about today are gonna be pretty modern. So our number five is right here on the Charles Square. Charles Square Center is one of the newest buildings on the Charles Square, the history of which goes back to the Middle Ages. Instead of the modern glass building that we see here today, there used to be a house called Ushalku, built in 1666. That building was destroyed in 1938 to the dismay of the general public. And then for around 60 years, nothing was going on on this piece of land. So it was just here empty, which is weird because it was during the communist times and the communists were always busy building something pretty ugly. Yeah, I said what I said. I don't like communist buildings. You can attack me about this in the comments. Anyway, in 2001, they finally started the construction of the new, modern, beautiful Charles Square Center. And one year later, it was open. I'm no expert in modern buildings, but as far as I've gathered, the general criticism of this one is that it's too mad. It's like any other building from the early 2000s where some workers are imprisoned. When you go to their website, they say, work like a walk in the park. Yeah, the park that you see behind the glass of your cell. But the idea behind the building's plan is nice, actually. The center inside has an atrium. It is spacious, you have a coffee place, you have stores and a ubiquitous villa. Speaking of which... Number four on our list is a Billa store. In case you don't know, Billa is an Austrian chain of grocery stores. We have a lot of those in Prague, and this one is located on Latenska Square. Letna is one of the most hipster neighborhoods in Prague, and we all know that hipsters detest everything which is not aesthetic. And this gray box doesn't really fit on that Pinterest board, if you know what I mean. Continuing on the shopping theme, our number three building is Quadrio Shopping Mall. I was very surprised to find this building on the list. I don't think it's that awful. I think together with the statue of the head of Franz Kafka on the opposite side, it looks very nice. But on the other side of the tram stop, you can definitely see that it doesn't go well together with the buildings in the front. But I think I don't understand modern architecture at all, because for me what really stands out is not Quadrio, it's its neighbor. My. It's a high-tech and new functionalist house built in 1970s. Despite its obvious architectural value that is hard to perceive because of the last renovation, Mai was criticized by architects later because it stands out and not in a good way. Somebody lost a Pomeranian and they want, uh, they will pay 10,000 euros to anyone who finds it. Perhaps I should stop criticizing functionalist buildings, because the architect of our next one, Ivo Nahalka, did that as well. Yet his creation is taking the second place on our list today. Hotel Don Giovanni, labeled as kitsch and also pejoratively called Business Baroque. Never have I ever read so many insults directed at the building. It was called horror, clumsy, quintessence of ugliness, architecturally difficult and too much disgust in one place. Yikes, I hope the architect of this hotel already made his first therapist appointment. Do I think this hotel deserves its criticism? Perhaps it does look strange, especially standing next to the cemetery. This hotel was also nicknamed Pink Cake, by the way. The architect wanted the hotel to resemble a theater where the middle glass part looks like a broken heart of Don Giovanni. And finally, our number one, the ugliest building in Prague is... Crystal! No, not that one. No. This one? Yeah, again, it's not up to us to decide on these things, guys. The 
pedestal was called Glass Hell by Czech ecological activists. And despite its remote location, you can actually see it all the way from the Prague castle. And that is the biggest criticism of this building. It damages Prague's skyline. In the original plans, it was not supposed to be as tall and as monstrous. For me, it looks like alien spaceship. But do I think it's the ugliest building in Prague? Absolutely not. In one of our latest videos, we visited the largest panel housing estate in the Czech Republic, where we stumbled upon this building. Oh, what's that? Oh. Which I thought looked quite weird that it turned out to be the National Archive of the Czech Republic. Another building that comes to mind is Hotel Pyramid, which is just monstrous. But then Václav reminded me of this building, and when I saw it, I was like, surely it has to be the ugliest building in Prague. And of course, all of that is just our personal taste. If you like any of those buildings mentioned in this video, please don't take it as an insult. It's just we don't appreciate modern architecture enough, perhaps. If you know even uglier building in Prague, let us know in the comments. Or if you have never been to Prague, let us know what is the ugliest building in the place where you live. And we'll see you next week, guys. Bye!